find is that is that uh, the Neon Museum. It is. It's yeah. an iconic item. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Thanks, JC. Time to get cooking in Nanny Bubby's kitchen today. She's getting us ready for March Madness with a retro pasta salad. Hey, Nanny Bubby. Well, hey there, Rocky. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys. These are my St. Patrick's Day tools, but we're not talking about a St. Patrick's Day recipe today. We are talking about a retro pasta salad from the late 70s, and I remember sitting around watching the um, Final Four and March Madness with my family and watching the Running Rebels for the very first time make it to the final four led by none other than the amazing Reggie Theus. And so I'm sure that is a great memory for you and your family. And it is a wonderful memory that your father brought to this community. So, so happy to be walking down that memory lane. So this is how we start. We start with a pound of rotini pasta. So we're going to put it in. Sometimes it's called Pasilli. It just depends on what brand. And I just want to remind you how to cut a pepper. Ready? You just so easy down the sides, just like this. There we go. There you go. And we're just going to drop the core right into our Chapman kitchen garbage can. And I took the liberty of chopping it before we hit the air. So there we go. There's orange. I'm using orange because it adds fabulous color. Then we're going to add some English cucumbers. The thing about these English cucumbers is that you want to uh, slice them in half lengthwise. And then what you want to do with a grapefruit spoon is get rid of the seeds right into your Chapman garbage can right there. There you go. And you can see how lovely they're cut in just little half inch pieces. And that goes right in. So let's just give it a toss so we can get these colors melding together. How do you like that? Okay, next we're going to add some green onions. Now, I like to use the green onions instead of a red onion or a white onion. Use whatever you like, but raw onions and I don't get along, so I prefer the scallions because they're much lighter and not so acidy to my stomach. So that's what I use. So we're going to throw those in. Okay, next... We are going to do our great tomato slicer. So this is my very favorite handy-dandy kitchen tool. I hope you're liking this, Rocky. There we go. There we go with those tomatoes. And then we're going to load this right back up. One, two, three. Just push them down. And I just want to tell you that the grapefruit spoon and the tomato slicer and the uh, Salad Supreme seasoning and the salad dressing you can find on nannybubby.com slash game changers okay there we go right into the bowl look at can you see how these colors are really starting to meld together i think we could use just a little bit more okay there we go okay into the bowl let's give it one more toss now these have tremendous color but i just want to just share because it's st patrick's day if you want to make this all green then substitute the orange pepper for a green one Separate the onion with a jalapeno, and then the tomatoes use these cute little green tomatillos that are covered. You have to peel them, and that will make an all-green salad for you. Now, what we want to do is we want to cut the basil. Let me just push that off while we get to the basil. Now, remember how I do this is we take the large leaves, and we wrap them around the smaller leaves. So let me just take this and roll this right up like a cigar. Makes it very easy just to chop the basil. There we go. There we go. Into the bowl. So that adds some delicious flavor. Half cup of Parmesan cheese. Oh my gosh, are you loving this so far? And now, don't tell anybody, we're using jarred seasoning and jarred salad dressing because after all, this is from the 80s and the late 70s, which is what people did and I did in those years. And we are going to take the Salad Supreme that is still on the market today, and we are using the entire jar. Yep, you heard me right. The entire jar. Look at that. All the way right on top. We're going to give this a toss and coat all of the pasta with the salad. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. And it smells wonderful. I wish you were here. And then the salad dressing. And then parsley on top. So that's it. We're running just slightly out of time. But you're going to do that and finish with some parmesan shavings so look at that just right off the top and there you go a retro march madness salad okay there you go 
That's it for today. Have a wonderful weekend with March Madness. Love you to death. Remember to spread love like butter. We love Bye, you Rocky. too, Nanny Bubby. Oh, that was great. And my mom and dad are watching and they just texted me said that was so cool. So thank you so much. Check out Nanny Bubby's Kitchen and Garden on social media and online at nannybubby.com. We also want to thank Chapman Automotive for sponsoring this segment. We'll be right back.